Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. I've been missing in action for about a month or so, but I'm back, so make sure you subscribe to the Tackle Tactics TV YouTube channel. Plenty more videos coming up, how-tos, tips and techniques, lots of on-water stuff. And also, I'm currently setting up a bit of a space in the shed here as well to do some filming of some tech talk and some rigging stuff as well. So make sure you stay tuned for more videos coming out soon. I thought I'd share a video with you today. So basically, while I was off, I did jump in the boat with my cousin Alex and we had our cousin Kevin up from country New South Wales. So he came up for a fish, we jumped in the boat and we just rocketed out and, sh and fished about two hours in the late Arvo, the end of the run out to try and chase a few flathead. So flathead being the target species, we all rigged up with probably my favorite flathead soft plastic and that's the Z-Man three inch minnow. So there's a few reasons why this is, I believe the best flathead plastic and and especially if you're if you're just getting into soft plastics make sure you check out this guy there's a stack of different colors available firstly this plastic is 10 times tough so it's z-man elastec 10 times tough so it's a very durable plastic so the great thing about that is if there's toothy critters and pickers and tailor and yellowtail pike and things around they're not going to destroy your plastic uh, as quickly as they will other plastic brands that are out there also you can fish you know i've caught 50 flatties over 50 flatties on a single uh, Z-Man three inch minnows because of that durability. You know, come home, take it off. I generally take the jig head and the plastic off. I'll rinse the jig head and hang it up to use again. I'll rinse the plastic, let it dry, and then put it back in the packet, ready to go again. So you will catch a lot of fish on a single plastic with that Z-Man 10 times tough Elastec. The other cool thing is, even though it's 10 times tough, it's really soft and flexible. So it feels realistic. So the fish just keep hitting it, keep hitting it, keep hitting it until they find the hook. So you'll find that they, they definitely eat that. It feels real, it looks real. I'll put a bit of Procure scent on there so that it smells and it tastes real as well. Well, the most important thing that a lot of people forget is in the water, this plastic is actually naturally buoyant. So being naturally buoyant, when it's in the water, it just, it comes to life. So it moves really, really well. It's got beautiful body roll on it. Looks fantastic in the water, like a little whiting or a mullet or those things that Flathead love to eat. And also its buoyancy means that it stands up when it rests. So if you're hopping it and then stalling it, it stands up like that, like it's in the bottom feeding, like a natural feeding pose. So instead of just laying dead on the bottom, like a normal soft plastic, Z-Man being buoyant will stand up. So sometimes you'll even just be standing there holding onto the rod while you're doing something or talking about something or moving the electric or whatever you're doing, zzz, off it goes because that tail's up in the air, it's bouncing along and the fish just picks it up and eats it. So that buoyancy is extremely important and gives it another attribute that gets those bites as well. So generally, when we're out in the boat, we'll run a few different colors. So, you know, mix it up. If there's three of us on the boat, we'll be at least running two different colors, possibly even three different colors, just to find what the fish want on the day. And we'll generally mix it up between, between those clear natural colors, darker colors, and those more out there UV and fluoro type colors so that we can get the bite. Uh, in the video that's following, because we're fishing deeper edges that drop to one meter to three meter sort of depth, we fished a 3 8 ounce 3 0. And also, if you're just getting into soft plastics fishing and you want to target flathead, it's always go, good to go a little heavier so that you can make sure that lure's on the bottom. Hitting the bottom, that's where the flathead are. And when that thing's bouncing around, it's going to puff up some mud and sand as well and stir up the bottom and attract the fish. So generally, we'll run a 3 8 ounce 3 0 in a headlocks HD or also in the big eyes for a bit of added attraction with that eye as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this session. It really wasn't actually going to be filmed and, and uploaded, but it's just three cousins out having a crack, out having a fish together, a few laughs and good times. And really that's what fishing is about. So let's get out there and get into a few. Cheers. Where the water flows across. Yeah, it's yep. shallow. Right through there and then this. Yeah. Where that water comes through across the edge and they fish on. Pretty soon that weed's gonna pop out on that edge and you'll clearly be able to see where the edge is. Yeah. But if we're just casting in Yeah. Casting into the edge of the weed and then hopping it out. So you might just 
you'll be able to see which way your line's getting dragged and you might have to cast forward a little bit yeah you'll you might foul like you might find you've got weed on there yeah. but as close as you can get to it is good yeah and they'll come out for it that, that's um yeah landing right on the edge of it's good and just let the lure fall down and then bounce it back out but we're starting to get some better top like better banks out and stuff now yeah right <laughs> <laughs> now the spikes on these guys we all know about them <laughs> gonna have some big mates out there that's a good sign anyway that's a good sign come on buddy spit her out spit her out spit her out come on what are you doing oh i'm running away hey something was chasing that then oh, really? i wound it in fast and there was something behind it, it might have been just a pikey what color you got them? purple death What do you got on? White. Um, yeah, the new one. Slam shady. Slam shady. Yeah. You you can jig it around a bit, yeah. like, or you can do like um some guys do a burn and kill. Like they'll go wind, 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 stop. Yeah. Wind, 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 stop. Yeah, and, and then boom, back on the bottom, wind it up, stop it, wind it up, stop yeah, it. Yeah, and that's okay too. Yeah, that's that's sherry fish is a lot like that. Yeah, right. Or a slow roll. I just like hopping it around. <laughs> I think I like hopping it around a bit because sometimes you'll go hop, hop, hop up in the air yeah. and then as it sinks back down, you oh. fear, feel them clonk it, eh? No, I'm only getting the little tackers out here. Same guy? Yeah. <laughs> got a hole in his lip. He's following me along. Another little tacker. How's his form out? He's like, I don't want those little ones. Why <laughs> <laughs> oh, would I want to fish on your side? <laughs> <laughs> I'm guarding my side. <laughs> I know where you're at. You're just trying to get away from those little ones. There's <laughs> obviously a school of them. Uh, shocker. Little one. Little one. <laughs> hey, better one? Yeah, that's a better one, Al. I'll go here. You get up the front. I'll go down here and catch this, Flatty. I'll catch this. <laughs> All right, it's just beginning. The tide's getting nice. Is it? He's dinner. He is dinner. That's a better sign, though. Like a couple of yeah, bigger ones. A couple of fish and you know, a nice one. What did you change colour? Oh yeah. Tell us. <laughs> it is. No, sneaky. Can't sneaky colour switch. Oh. He's gone with the UV. The birdies can suck a little bit, but can they a bit like the barrel? Yeah, sometimes they grab the tails a bit. Yeah, that's what you're doing. So you'll sometimes you'll you'll just have days where they're not super aggressive. No, and no, and you'll get tail grab, tail grab, tail grab. Yeah. And then you can mix your retrieve up a bit. Go, like wind a bit faster or a bit slower or leave it sit a bit longer put a bit more scent on make change to a smaller lure a bigger lure <clears throat> try and mix it up get annoyed move spots go somewhere else <laughs> see that patch up up there's like a patch of weed and ripple and that up there if you flick up towards that, there could be one sitting behind it where the ripples are. Often that's like a lump in the bottom, weed growth and whatever, and the fish will sit behind it, out of the current, flatfish. <laughs> Have I got the net? You got one, I got one. You got one on? Come here, buddy. One's only a little tucker, but... Oh, yours is a little attacker, so that's all right. I think this one will be Kev's dinner. 
Are you taking that oh, one? Oh, that's a... a Are you taking that one for a fee? Al, yours? Yeah, yeah. For your mob. Yeah, because I'll fill it. If we get a couple, I'll fill it a couple up for these guys. Yeah. And cry back them. Oh, yeah, why? Well, they can pack them in the icebox. No, don't do that. Guys, you No, we live here. <laughs> <laughs> This is my backyard. <laughs> he's a chunky little fella. Oh gee, he's not that little. He's 50. Oh, you got a good one. Buckle up, mate. You're slaying him. Oh. Go on, did he bite you off? Oh, oh bugger. He was bigger. Yeah, he has a nice one. Yeah, if... if Oh, like I think whether you wind like that or whether you yeah, hop or whatever, it doesn't matter. No. But I'd just throw just throw plenty of pauses in there so that it finds the bottom is the main thing. Yeah, until it gets back down. Just just make sure you're giving it some time to hit the bottom and otherwise I'm not gonna get that flatty. Yeah. Oh he might go too actually. Maybe just no, maybe not quite. Thirty eight. <laughs> you get the trophy for most unusual catch or whatever that they have. Yeah, fish on! Oh, he's got one. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up, where's the net? Surf him over. He's got the, oh, I've got the net. I'm not letting him go. I've got the Surf net. Him over. Buckle up. <laughs> All over it, mate. Oh. Good one, dude. He's an eater. Wow. Is he? He's close. He's close. He's going to go close. We can put him back. Have you got lip grips, Al? Yep. Ditch the bottom hand when he's hanging up that way. Give us a smile. Turn him to face the sun just a smidge. That's it. So he lights up. You've done this a few times, haven't you? <laughs> I take a photo of a fish. I send it to him and it's up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's whole, awesome. The whole thing's upside down. I'm like... Oh, I suck. All right. That's great. <laughs> Beautiful, mate. Fish on. Is he going back? Um, no, have you got a fridge? Have you got a fridge yeah, with you? We yeah, we can cry back a few packs of fish. Yeah, right. And then you can eat them along the way or whatever you want. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah they're both goers. Okay. Yep. The best. He's four, yeah, best eating fish. Yes. 45, perfect size eating fish. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, now, um, I do know those little bloody lures work. The pressure's off. Yeah, Did I don't he? Have to... You felt him nail it. Uh, He's a bit little. He's all right. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be twenty, twenty, and zero. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that is the pressure so off. you were you you were just rolling it, winding it, and he smacked it. Oh. I was just rolling it, and he I thought, oh, I'll just slow down a little bit. Yep, yep. And I was only just winding a little bit, and I felt him hit. Yep. And I just went a little bit more, and then he took it. Took it. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's funny, you know, because, like, we're doing the right thing to catch him. Yeah. It's the last last two hours of the run-out tide, yeah. fishing a drain or edges. Yeah. And the fish concentrate on the edges and in the drains. Yeah. And just bounce the lures around, and... Easier fishing because all the water comes off the banks and all the bait holds on the edges, so the flatties just hold on the edges. Whereas when the tide's going up, you just kind of get them at the start of the up, and then they just spread out all over the place. Oh, so they could be anywhere. Yeah, man. that's a good. That's the. That's the right spot for him. He's a nice one. Now we prime in there. Yeah, just you, you're better off. Like, you may start to see it now, like this one here. If I watch this, yeah. it'll cut a V in the water yeah. as it sinks and then it goes dunk and stops when it's on the bottom. Oh, yeah, right. I'll see if it'll do it. So, I, I often just cast straight, fairly straight in, a little bit ahead of the drift, maybe. Yeah. And that's on the bottom, it's just gone slack straight away. Hop, yeah. hop, hop. Then I'll watch the line. Yeah. Right so here, I'll keep it tight this time so we can see it. So it's cutting a V, boom, yeah, stopped. Stops. Cutting a V, stops. 
and all I'm doing is just kicking it up off the bottom like it's trying to get away. Yes. And then pause it, and it's often trying. they'll go boom and just nail it as it yeah. sinks. But you've got good edge there. And you can cast a bit ahead of you if you want there as well, a bit ahead like this way. Yeah, right. And then sort of catch up to it by the yeah, time you get back. Yeah, <clears throat> and just pick it up, pick up the edge there. And I'll just have a crack in the middle here. Oh, Al, you're onto him in the middle. Toadfish. <laughs> Stargazer. <laughs> Hey, Taylor, is it? Taylor. <laughs> there you got Taylor. You got Taylor for dinner, mate. It's like up where we go up the, to Fraser, up you know, up there fishing Fraser. It's like chopping, whew, absolute mayhem. Everyone just grabs whatever rods rigged and <laughs> oh, no. yeah, into it. Chopping, Nobody's yeah. like, hey, I'll rig a rod for you or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's just, uh, you should have sorted that out. Yeah, it's you? just yeah, mayhem. Have been Every man for himself. Hey! Oh, there, is a, there is a couple. Yeah. I think Here you go. You take this and I'll shake that one off. There is, there's a couple in here. He's there and I found it. We might, we might go back over it and get it off. No, you flick that one. I'll tie another one on this one. You flick that one if you No, oh. I'm going to watch you do these first. Well, I'm, gonna ch I'm just going to change it up to this one, yeah. which is... Um, so this is Sean's daughter's favourite colour. She's, oh, not she's, a favourite um, lure, I hope. <laughs> she smashes them in here yeah. on this pinfish colour. Yeah. And this time of the afternoon, it's beautiful. It's got... Um, Who's that? Sean's daughter. Yeah, right. Um, so recently she got... I think it was 88, the fish. Wow. But it's, um... It really works, it? Yeah, but this colour in the afternoon, it's got yeah. the uh, glitter and stuff in it. Wow. So it'll get nice and get a bit of flash going. So what do you procure? The water's nice hey, and Hey, fish on. We've hardly done a rod and reel, really, many reels, rods and reels over the years. So no, it's not... It, you know... Oh, let go of it. Doesn't count, eh? Yep. <laughs> it's funny, hey. Like I, I, I sat up in the, I went down there the other week and it was blowing an absolute gale. So I just paddled up into the drain and sat my kayak on the bank. Hey, the do nothing. <laughs> is that just sitting on the bottom? Is that a big pot? Oh no, it's a flat fish, is it? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I sat in that drain and I just put on a weedless jig head and I was fishing in no water and I caught about three or four flatfish. And then I told Dad about it and he came and sat down there in no water and he pulled a few out of that little drain. So Grandma will you can not. fish that edge now. That's the bomb. That's the bomb, is it? Yeah. There'll be trees out there. Our grandma no, I'll go out this other side yeah, and catch a big just... one. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> Was that your first cast in this car? <laughs> oh, no. Did the right thing chuck on that? I think that was your first cast in that gutter as well. <laughs> oh, that's a weapon. That is a weapon. No, no. You just let him do his thing and bring him in slow. Just let him do his thing? Yep. Yeah, that's a beast. See, we did the charter thing on you. <laughs> oh, get here. <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't get you. Oh, no. Wow. Good one. Look at that thing. Oh, that's a God. that's a good slab. Oh, no. <laughs> How good's fishing? <laughs> yeah, a few photos of that fella. <laughs> So I think that you got the biggest fish of the day. No. Yep. <laughs> you haven't finished. That's yet, what we yeah. do. That's what we do. Oh, we go now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'm better. You got your right, oh, Al. I have to pay me money now. <laughs> oh, slam. That's a good photo. <laughs> hey, look at that. Yeah, look at that. The fish is a bit of a weapon as well. Uh, <laughs> 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 what do you reckon, Al? That's a good one, eh? That's hey? awesome. 
Yep, and then you can just you can just let him go and he'll swim. And he'll go swimming back into that gutter, lay lots of eggs, and give us more baby flathead. Woo! Sign, they don't work hard. We got one on the wrong side of the boat. That's a rock. It's a puffer fish, Jack. Oh. <laughs> Anyone can catch him like normal. Oh, <laughs> Do you want to net him? Oh, he might eat your net. I'm gonna hold him up oh, and no, smile. Just, yeah, if you can hold it up, that's great. Puff fish jagged in the. Oh. oh no, he might empty all the water in your boat, Al. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a. Oh, that's great. That's not a puff fish, that's an alien. <laughs> You're an alien. Oh, that's good. Have a look where he's hooked right at the base of the tail. Oh. What a shocker. There's one for the camera, too. Look, I'll, I'll show him on my head camera. There you go, folks. We were just going to wrap the day up with a puffer fish, as per plan. But you were meant to catch that, not me. Yeah, you were talking about it. It's amazing how much, how often you talk about something like that, and there it is, eh? <laughs> Shocker. Well, I'll tell me, kids, that they do. You like said they do count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll do me. Do you know how often we catch a puffer fish here? Never. Never. What? Never. never. I've never caught one. Do you see this? Never. You oh, did that. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> you might not get another invite, eh? <laughs> sweet lip. Yeah. Yeah. Snap. <laughs> you guys. Sweet lip. I reckon you'll get a snapper. <laughs> <laughs> no, I reckon you get a buffer. Um, <coughs> oh, serious. Like that, though, <laughs> what a shocker. Next year I'll say it. <laughs> wow. <laughs>